Hello beautiful people. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a leg hold. Ta-da! Everyone is obsessed with leg holds, leg extensions, tilts, ponches, this, that. Well guess what? I'm going to teach you how to do one and I have my buddy. Guess who's back? I'm here again everybody. Leg holds. What are you doing? My sp uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's off to a great start. Let's do this. Before we do our actual leg hold turn, leg hold turn, I just made Whoa! this. Whoa! I just made this. That is not what I signed up for. Before we do 85 pirouettes into an aerial. No, I'm kidding. Alright, I'm gone. Before we do our leg hold, we need to stretch. So there's a couple different muscle that's muscles that we're gonna target. And the first one is our hamstrings. Yeah! <laughs> Second one is your hip flexor slash psoas. Well, that right one's like here. a full. <laughs> it's really long. It dun, attaches dun, up here. Dun, anyway. dun, dun, dun. Our uh, third muscle group area is our IT band and our TFL, which stands for tensor fascia fascia latte. Tensor fascia latte. Tensor fascia latte. Tensor fascia latte. A latte. So those are the muscles that we're going to target, and I'm going to show you three different stretches of how to get those babies fired up. Yeah. yeah! Ready to leg hold! Up here. <laughs> I'm just frozen. And then back a little farther. Is that, not how you, is that how you do it? Okay, so the reason that I am not in the vlog as well, other than just love this guy. Hello. Is, um, nice to be back. We are obviously, I'm a girl. He's a boy. We have different body makeups. We have different flexibility levels. We have different um, <laughs> ranges of motion. So I want you guys to see stretches and leg holds on different bodies um, and different humans. Mm -hmm. So the first muscle group we're gonna target is our hamstrings. So you wanna stand in a nice wide stance. You're gonna put your hands up and go like this. <laughs> no. Oh. That wasn't awful joke. We're gonna put our arms to a nice T and you're gonna go flat back over. So Matt will stay facing the camera. I'm gonna turn this way so you see what I mean. You're not gonna crunch over, you're gonna flat back. Nice and over, go all the way down and just hold here. You wanna drop your head nice and heavy. You can even shake it out, that always feels so good. Ooh, yep, there it is. You're gonna hold here and you're gonna do your best to flip your hips up to the sky. So the moment I drop my torso and think of getting my booty up to the sky, I felt a much deeper stretch in my hamstrings. We're gonna hold here for about one minute, but I'm gonna fast forward for the sake of the internet. <laughs> You're gonna move over to your left leg. <laughs> Other left leg. That's right, that's where that goes. So Matt's gonna hold there. So again, keeping this as lengthened as possible, keeping your head dropped. You're gonna hold on your left side for 30 seconds. After your 30 seconds, shift over to your right. And hold here. Matt's doing something V importante, and that's breathing. When you stretch, you don't wanna hold your breath. First of all, it just looks kinda weird. <laughs> and your face will be really red when you get up. Um, but in order to get deeper into your stretch, you have to breathe. So, center for one minute, left for 30 seconds, and right for 30 seconds. And then bring it on up, and you're gonna look like a little tomato face. Oh God. Ah, that felt nice. <laughs> you guys, there's music you can't hear. It's coming from the building next to us. Which is a barbershop, but so. But you can trust us. I'm getting my hair cut there next time. <laughs> We are going to stretch our psoas, our psoas, and our hip flexors. I'm gonna show you what not to do, which almost every dancer does, um, and that's falling into your lunge. Matt's gonna show you the correct way, which is to sit up nice and tall and do a pelvic tilt forward. So, pick whichever leg you'd like. Find your 90 degree angle from your knee to your ankle. Here's what you're gonna wanna do. Oh, very nice. Yes, this feels kind of good, but I'm not doing anything here. If anything, I might strain my hip flexor. So what you actually want to do is come up, sit up nice and tall like Matt, and you might think, hey Matt, it looks like you're doing nothing. <laughs> but what's happening is, can you show that one more time, Maddie? Mm -hmm. 
So he does a pelvic tilt forward. Look at this tucked in shirt. I figured I wouldn't see it otherwise. The weave. You do a nice Sorry. pelvic tilt forward so that you feel this in your hip flexor and you sit up nice and tall. Good, can you try the other side? Mm -hmm. So he shifts on over. He sits up nice and tall and does a pelvic tilt forward as he's lifting through his spine. If you can't feel this, you need to sit up even taller and you can inch that back leg a little bit farther back. And then you should feel that in your hip flexor and your psoas, which is very, very deep in your body. There it is. You feel that, awesome. Shannon? That's good. That's nice. Thank you. That's that good feeling. Yeah, we're back. Welcome in for our third stretch of the day. Here we go. Today we're going to be stretching our IT band, NRTFL, not to be confused with TLC. TLC. Which is good. Although we all need some tender love and care. That's not what we're doing right That's now. not what we're doing today. Um, our IT band and our TFL, you guys, people tend to forget about this little section of our body, but they actually attach up at your hipito. And your hip is really important for your leg holds. So don't forget about this guy. So Matt's going to show you two different progressions. So you're going to lay on your back. You're going to pick one leg of your choice up, OK? This bottom leg stays nice and lengthened on the floor. Pro tip, you have to keep your booty on the floor. What's gonna wanna happen is your butt's gonna wanna lift up. You need to keep your sits bones on the floor. So Matt has one knee in, he's gonna cross it towards me. You don't go all the way down to the floor. Eh, okay? You just keep it slightly across your body and you should feel a nice stretch in this IT band right here. You mm -hmm. feel that? I do, it's nice. <laughs> I do. One progression from here is to straighten that leg, keeping your booty on the floor and also crossing it over. This is a little bit more advanced, a little bit more intense, but this will get the IT band and your TFL nice and fired up. So do those three stretches, you guys. I would hold them for about a minute each. Not a bad idea to do a couple rounds of that circuit. Mm -hmm. Let's leg hold, baby. Oh, let's do it. I'm so ready. Woo! Okay, so that first section of getting your leg hold are those stretches, right? Your hammies, your TFL, your IT band, your hip flexors, and your psoas. The next is to take it across the floor and moving through space. So what you're going to do is your bot mods across the floor. Arms come to a T, keeping them in front of your body, not behind. Start parallel. We're going to step in a nice plie. You brush through first position and you bot mod. Plie, brush, bot ma. Plie, brush, bot ma. Now, you don't need to go that slow. It's going to be plie, brush, plie, brush, right across the floor. Couple things. Matt has his arms in a T, keeping these as lengthened and straight as possible. Keeping your tummy tight, not squeezed. You're not sucking in. You're just engaging your abs, okay? Keeping your chin nice and lifted, your neck nice and long. Now, the most important part, your legs. You're going to want to do this. Why do I want to do that, Miss Ati? Because it's so much easier to get your leg higher, okay? Now, I don't even care if your bat mah is down here. It's a cute little baby bat mah. That's amazing because it's straight and it's technically correct. Start lower. Get all of your muscle memory, get all of the technique nice and clean, then build your leg higher. So Matt and I will show you in real time across the floor your plie bot mount kick, starting with our left foot back. Six, seven, eight. Plie bot mount, plie bot mount. All the way across the floor, keeping your legs straight, keeping your spine lifted, and a long back. I probably should have stretched before that. <laughs> okay, you're like, woman, I signed up to do a leg hold. We finally made it here, okay? What you need to learn first is your ball change. Hands on your hips, your ball change steps back and front. Back, front. That's it, come parallel. Five, six, seven, eight. Step back, step front. This back leg is what's gonna kick front to your leg hold. Now, where you're holding your leg is really important. We're gonna start out with the thigh, then you can move to your calf, not your knee, then we'll move to our ankle, then we'll move to our foot. Now, each different spot on your leg 
is determined by your flexibility level. So if you're like Gumby McGee, you're gonna be holding your foot, okay? If you're just starting out, maybe you're not as mobile, you're gonna start out with your thigh, and that's okay. But all of them need to start from a ball change. So we're gonna go ball change, uh, what is this? Thigh. thigh. <laughs> all right, five, six, seven, eight, step. Back step, front, catch your thigh. From here, straight knee. Don't let that hip come up. You're gonna sit in your hip. Pull up through your chest and your chin and hold. Hold this for about 30 seconds. You're gonna try that three times, okay? After you do your calf, or sorry, after you, Thigh. I jumped ahead. <laughs> after you do your thigh, you're gonna jump to your calf. If you can, be patient and gentle with your body, you guys. Movements like this really result in some strain in the body if you're pushing yourself too much, okay? You don't wanna pull your hamstring. So, I'm gonna move to my calf. Will you be joining me? Or I'll stay? certainly try. Okay, we're gonna try and go to our calf. Starting with the ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. Ball, change, calf. Hold, 30 seconds. Here, I can feel this in my hamstring because right. I didn't stretch. Keep that hip nice and square. Your body's gonna wanna shift. Pull up through your spine. Push down through the supporting leg. Lift, lift, and come down. 30 seconds, okay? All right. Do you feel like that's where maybe you would tap out? That's where I would probably be. Okay. A good spot to train a little harder there. So if you're feeling kind of how Matt's feeling, and maybe he wants to work more on the thigh hold or the calf hold, he's gonna try that again until he feels ready, whether it's today, tomorrow, six months from now, to move up his leg. I'm gonna move to my foot, okay, or my ankle. So we'll try it again together. Ready, five, six, seven, eight, fall, change, hold. So from here, I'm going to pull up, up, up. There we go. Sit in that hip, pull it in, lift up, hold, and lower with a nice control. Holy moly. <laughs> the next progression is your foot, you guys. So this one, I actually wouldn't do from a ball change. I would just grab it from my foot and I'm gonna pull it up nice and tall. So if you feel like you're at this level, I think the most important thing is your spine, right? You're gonna wanna come over. This is not a leg hold, you guys. This to me, because my back is hunched over, my legs are bent, I'm straining, I need to move back up my leg until my flexibility is there. So be realistic with yourself, okay? What are you gonna do, Maddie? I'm gonna go, I'm stop sticking with the, okay. the calf for a little bit. Beautiful, so on the count of five, six, seven, eight, Matt's gonna take back with his calf. I'm gonna show you the foot position and we're gonna leg hold. Ready, five, six, seven, eight, plie, and lift. Get your balance, square your hips, lift up, 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 hold 30 seconds, push through that supporting leg, and release nice and controlled. And uh, die. Uh, All right, you guys, <gasps> thanks for leg holding with us. It's great so fun. You have to stretch. You have to loosen up your muscles in order to do something that is so abnormal <laughs> for your body. Leg holds are not normal for your body, okay? They're a little, they're a little out of, oh, okay, we're still going. There. Okay, I They're a that. little out of whack, okay? So stretch, do the bot muds across the floor so you learn how to have mobility and flexibility across the floor, moving and traveling, not just standing in place. Then try your leg hold with the different areas to grab your leg. Be patient with yourself, be kind with your muscles, and just work hard, you'll get it, okay? I How do you feel, you. buddy? I feel great. On the count of five, six, seven, eight, we'll do something, five, <laughs> seven, eight. Hiya! See you next week. Peace, y'all.